welcome back. Uh, I have the peanut gallery today on my phone. Say hi, oh, Tiffany. Give me room. Hi, Tiffany. Also, mom's in the living room. <laughs> if you haven't read the title of the video today, I am showing you all the stuff that I will be packing for the trip. So this is my packing haul, starting with this hat that you have already seen. So I'm going to take this off for the rest of the video because it does not flop the way I want it to. It could go over there. I have three separate bags, which make that look like it's six. Now I only have three. I have my suitcase. I have my owl bag from Florida. <laughs> Technically the suitcase is also from Florida. And then I have the combined swim bag that me and Tiffany will be using. And I have everything kind of sectioned off into categories. So starting with the miscellaneous bag, they'll more than likely have hats or games, souvenirs whenever we come home, blah, blah, blah will be, well, I should start off with the games, which we've already hauled once. We have Bounce Off. Uh, I pity our neighbors. <laughs> Tiffany has said it herself that they're probably going to want to kill us with all the bouncing. Yep. <coughs> Next we have my personal favorite, Clue. Again, we have hauled this. Uh, Itty Bitty Clue was our first game that we got. <laughs> it's also the one that the board hates Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany hates the board. Next is probably, I don't know if this is Tiffany's favorite, but it's Itty Bitty Monopoly. I, I, like Monopoly. I feel like her favorite is either Monopoly or Bounce Off. Monopoly is my favorite. I prefer the regular size Monopoly because the money's annoying to deal with. <laughs> and then lastly, the one that we've played the least, Battleship. Mostly because the it's pigs. It's also the newest. It's also the newest. Uh, the pigs hate me. And fun fact, uh, I kind of stored these in the bags upstairs in my room because I just brought down the big ones. I missed playing the big version of Clue. And like she had said, that uh, kind of liked Big Monopoly. And the last thing in the other bag, the miscellaneous bag, is my Hidden Mickeys of Walt Disney World book. Now, you've seen this. I've hauled this already once. I have already started to read it a smidge. Not gonna lie, but there is a lot in this book. Over... 200 pages of hidden Mickey facts. And you know, if we ever go back, I'm gonna need to know where the hidden Mickeys are, because Lord knows if I looked on my own, I would just, you know, overlook it. And so would she, probably. Yeah. I do have this pink hat, which I think I've hauled before, which is kind of in the middle ground because it is on the verge of miscellaneous, but it does kind of segue into our next category, which is stuff for the beach. So, just a regular pink hat. Next, as I slowly, slowly try to move everything off to the other side, past the phone where Tiffany's hiding, I have my Ohana Means Family water bottle. It is stainless steel. Tiffany has one, but it's currently holding up my phone so she can see this as it's being filmed. So, this has already had a good wash. Uh, I thought these were on sale. They weren't. Oops. But hey, okay, they're here, so I'm not going to send them I'm back. I'm going to tell you how much you paid for those water bottles. <laughs> yeah, well, if they watch the other video, they'll know, because I mentioned it. Next, I have the clear plastic baggie for my phone. Another thing I've already hauled once before. I don't know if Tiffany's going to get herself one of these or if we're just going to share. Um, whenever I'm not using it, I'd probably have the GoPro and vice versa. So who knows? She might get one. She might just use this one. Next is something that I forgot that I had. It's really loud. Can you hear how loud this is? Yes. Uh, it's super loud, but it does it the trick for the most part. It's not as a disgrace as the one from Florida was, which is ironic because I think this also went to Florida. 
Next, I only got one of them because you get the gist. It's a pair of flip-flops, which you've already seen. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to rehaul it because I need a pair of flip-flops. I'm not going to haul the regular tennis shoes because, well, they're regular tennis shoes. They're not new for this trip. They're the same ones that I took to Florida. They're the ones that I've been using on and off all year. So, you're only seeing the flip-flops. I do have Tiffany's as well, but you know what? This isn't her haul. This is mine. <laughs> She'll haul her stuff eventually, probably, if I can convince her. Maybe. Maybe. I don't have a whole lot right now. Nah. Next is another thing you've already seen, and that is my round beach towel, which has watermelons, pineapples, flamingos, the word summer, some zigzags, some squigglies. I don't know, I just almost wanted a round one, which I think I said the exact same thing in the last video you saw these in. But you know what? Oh well. It's still true, I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> so let's try and fold this up as best as possible and move on to the next item. The next item that I have, you're going to end up seeing probably some of Tiffany's stuff in here because they're all kind of thrown together. This box is not making the trip. I had to see if it had the saying on here as well. I didn't know if it was on both sides. This is not making the trip, this little crate, but the stuff inside of it is. So we have these little sand buckets. Mine is the red. Tiffany's is in here as well. Then I also have this Una Pegasus duck thing that Tiffany gave me for Valentine's Day. That's Easter. Easter? I thought it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> Easter then. Either way, it's making the trip along with this little beach ball that I had gotten from last year's carnival. Another thing from Easter and that is these little bubbles that is in this very cute bunny. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. I have another Una duck. This time it's a little bit smaller. And then Derpy. from this year's carnival I have this itty bitty little the sand bucket that comes with a couple tools. You got that one and the stupid dolphins in the way. <laughs> you got a little rake. And then I think this is supposed to get a little bit of water. Not entirely sure. I've never made a sand castle, fun fact. And then a yellow dolphin. I would have had a blue one, but Tiffany wanted a blue one, so Tiffany has the blue one. Which is kind of funny because she has a pink little bucket. She wanted blue, so. The pink, the pink dolphin looked too red. And we go with the items. And then the final thing in the beach section is kind of also going to lean into the next category because it Do is you my... Do little glass bottle? Uh, no, because that holds my jewelry that I want to wear to the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> The next thing that kind of is going to segue it in to the next category is my new swimsuit. I don't know how well you can see it. It is brand new as of this year. I don't necessarily know if I'm just going to wear it to the beach. I know we're going to the water park. I have another swimsuit that I could easily wear, but I don't think I really want to pack two. So, you know what? I got this on sale. Fun fact, the day that I'm recording this, the same model, the same design is on sale yet again for actually cheaper than what I paid for this one. Uh, Tiffany needs a new swimsuit, but she doesn't necessarily want to spend that kind of money. Though she could desperately- I don't have that kind of money to spend because I am in saving mode. I am in saving mode too, but I needed a new one and she desperately needs a new one too. Moving swiftly along, to but we'll be going in my red suitcase. Now some of this kind of has some miscellaneous stuff thrown into it. It's not all going to be clothing. I have a backup charger for my phone and this has three ports on it which if Tiffany needs to use it she can too. 
some tissues because who doesn't need tissues at least once on a trip a twisted peppermint body spray which again this also made the trip to Florida fun fact some dark cherry orchid two-in-one body wash and bubble bath now I don't think you necessarily saw it but I had given Tiffany a variation of this two-in-one for Easter. Did you use that already? Uh-huh. I've been using it a little mm. bit. So, I decided to keep a hold of mine for the trip. Tiffany's used hers. I believe hers was what? Sweet Love or Cherry Blossom? It's Cherry Blossom. Hers is Cherry Blossom. There's still a lot in it though, so it might make it for the trip. Might make the trip? Don't know. Next, I have a extra battery and a charger. Now I'm going to take more than one, but I kind of need the batteries and the chargers out. I can only really spare the one right now. My trusty dusty, trusty dusty? <laughs> my salve, my vapor rub. Um, can't really go anywhere without it. This is probably one of the only medical things that I'm going to take and it's not really all that medical. Next, I have this little Good Vibes Only little like coin pouch. It has an extra battery. It has a stitch hair clip, which I actually meant to wear in Florida, but didn't. And then it has a couple other little like long necklaces, but I don't really feel like getting them all out. Plus, I don't necessarily know how often I'm going to wake up and want to wear a necklace. <laughs> Tiffany can be my witness because I took quite a few necklaces with me to Disney and I think I may have only worn one like once. So. To the, to the party. Yeah, it was to the party. <laughs> Next, I have something that I actually used in a thumbnail and that was my wrist brace. I do have an ankle brace somewhere. I need to find it before the trip. But hopefully my wrist does not hurt on the drive down because this would be a right old pain to try and drive with. But if dad says it can be done. Next I have this little pouch which I'm probably never gonna actually use but I do have some makeup in here. I know. Crazy right? Also my other medicine but not gonna show you. So I have some eyeshadow which they're calling eye sparklers. I don't make up well. I'm not going to run through everything. I got some lip stuff. I got some nail polish in here as well, which Tiffany also gave me. It's not the best grade nail polish, but you know what? We said we were going to do nail polish one day. We're going to do nail polish one day. <laughs> and then cry when it comes off 10 seconds later. After all of our hard work. <laughs> Next... I have my hang in there sloth pillow which is honestly so soft. I have been using it. I originally got it to, you know, save for the trip. Make sure it was brand new for the trip. No. It it stays in my room. I, I've used it a lot. I'm pretty sure it has drool and sap all over it. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Next, I have my camera case that will be making the trip, and inside is my other camera and my GoPro, which I think I've already gone through this once already. Here's my GoPro. Here's my other camera that Tiffany is going to be borrowing, and it will hold the other camera that I'm currently filming with. So, not that much interesting there, but it's a camera case, so what can you do? Almost done. I have one other thing and then the rest is clothing and that is this little case that I also took to Disney. Uh, right now it's currently housing some empty bottles which I never really used in the first place and some more hand sanitizer. Which honestly not really all that shocked. I ended up having like four hand sanitizers. So in here I got some first aid kit. I got toothpaste, floss, mouthwash, toothbrush, deodorant, razor shaving cream, I have some more hair ties, 
I have a fidget cube for some reason, headphones, um, some wipes, some anti-bug wipes as well. Something purple that I necessarily don't know. Oh, it's not purple, it's blue, it's a lint brush. Okay. Uh, so yes, this is my little kind of to-go package. You would have already seen my body wash. Uh, I don't have my shampoo with me because I'm gonna buy that kind of last minute. I don't necessarily need it right now. I am gonna get out the multitude of hand sanitizer. She thought I was kidding. Hmm. I have vanilla coconut. Colorful. Hmm. At least they're colorful. Yeah, I have vanilla coconut. I have black cherry and grape, which I've actually used a tiny bit of. And then I have mixed berry, which I think I might have used a small bit of as well. So, you know what? I'm taking three bags plus a purse, so you know what? I'm gonna have enough space for everything. We're gonna have very clean hands on oh, this yeah. trip. We're gonna have a lot of clean hands. Tiffany has a strawberry one, I believe, and she'll have a van coconut no, vanilla. Doing math says yes. We have five hand sanitizers that we're taking with us. Yeah, provided, you know, they make the trip. They should, in all theory. At least four. I do have my umbrella, which is the last thing before clothing, which I honestly kind of forgot that I did not show off. Uh, fingers crossed that Tiffany's will make the trip. It is in a public location in her house, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. Next is my pair of pajamas that I'm going to be taking. These are the pants, kind of like a capri pant. And then it has a matching shirt that is short sleeved. Nothing really all that fancy. Again, this is the neck. It's, it was cheap, it was on sale. Not gonna lie, whenever we were filming the video where we got the clothes for the trip, I had already had this, which I think I mentioned. I already forget. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. Then that brings us to clothing, which I have on the back of a chair. I have this tank top, which I'm probably not going to wear. I don't know, because I have at least one shirt that I want to take that'll be a spare just in case. So I have this brand new tank top, which may be the spare. It might be the one that I wear to the water park. I'm not entirely sure. So. You could take it and change into it after the water park like we did with uh, Sandcastle. That is also a possibility. I have... Just in case our sunscreen fails again. I have a three quarter ish length shirt with floofy uh, sleeves that I like to say. This is probably gonna be the one that I either drive home in or drive down in because it's so comfortable. Um, this is actually from Walmart. <laughs> the tank top was from Woman Within. So sorry, my camera actually turned itself off even though the battery is like two thirds good. Only a third of it's dead. I think it's because I was recording so long, or it could just be the fact that the battery is kind of stupid. I have four things left, and then I promise I'll let you go. Which two of them I actually have to redo because I noticed that the camera shut off. So I have this pink cold shoulder shirt, and it was from Chelsea Studios. It's a very vibrant pink. Honestly, the neckline is a little bit different than what I saw in the photo. And again, it could have just been me being stupid because I thought that like this part of the neckline was almost like a sheer material. Didn't turn out to be the case. But this is the pink cold shoulder. <coughs> Next was the last thing that you missed because my camera kind of shut itself off was this shirt from Romans, which is also a cold shoulder. This one has a little bit more of a fun sleeve. And it's just a really pretty blue. Two more things and then I promise I'll let you go. I have this 
Oh, dark blue. It's actually a cover up, but because I have a very long torso, it's pretty much just either a really short dress or a long shirt for me. Which I mean, that's kind of what a cover up's supposed to be. It's also massive on me. It's Swimsuit For All is the brand. I got this off of Woman Within. Tiffany can actually wear this as a regular dress. I've held it up to her before. Maybe she'll get one of these and wear it as a dress dress. Only time will tell. And the last item that I have is my actual dress. And that is this kind of dress. It is sleeveless, but I'm going to use this as kind of like a cover up for my swimsuit the day we go to the beach. And it is this really pretty floral print. Any last words, Tiffany? You don't look like a potato. I don't look like a potato. That's kind of a running joke. I asked my dad if I looked like a potato while trying on one of the shirts that I showed you. I think it might have been the purple one. And he said yes. And then he promptly said, is a potato a good thing? No, oh, dad. Like, does it sound like it would be a good thing to be called a potato? No, dad. It's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. That is the end of this massive quote-unquote packing haul. I'm not really packing it on camera, but you know what? This is what I'm going to pack. So, yeah, that's about it. Bye, guys.